stand-up comedy, your host and MC presents Comedy Appetizers, a podcast where you will find short comedy sets, stories, and funny bits from the famous and not so famous. Here is your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Comedy Appetizers. I have something really fun for you this Friday. Uh, One of the very first acts to hit my stage, in fact, the very first act, he was an opening act in August of 1980, soon became a very popular headliner. Uh, Be sure to Google his name if you don't know it. His name's Gary Shanling. He's had a couple of his own uh, TV shows. He's done lots of movies and uh, even appeared in Iron Man. I mean, this guy has been around for a long, long time, but he started off as a stand-up comic, and we were one of the first gigs he ever played when he came out from Phoenix, Arizona. So what I wanted to share with you is just a couple minutes of Gary back in the early 80s working with the audience and doing some uh, kind of unusual material. This is a couple topics about... uh, how strange and gross men can be, and then also uh, uh, stealing from stores. But uh, it's funny stuff. Oh, a quick side story. Uh, one time, it was a uh, Wednesday night. There's maybe uh, uh, 12 people in the audience, and about halfway through the show, one of the guys in the audience goes up to use the bathroom, and Gary pauses and says, uh, that's too high a percentage of the audience. And he goes, come with me. It was so hilarious. Gary took the entire balance of the audience, men and women, into the men's room. And this poor guy is at the urinal trying to do his business. Gary goes up and stands right behind him and without missing a beat, goes right back into his material. It was so classic, so funny. Never happened again in the history of the club. He took the entire audience into the men's room and did about five minutes of material while this guy is trying to finish his business. And yes, we all made sure he washed his hands. (laughs) Anyway, a short Gary Shanley story. All right, here's just a few minutes of stand-up comedy by uh, one of my original favorites, good friend, helped get the club started. Uh, Let's hear some uh, comedy entertainment by Gary Shanling. I went to high school in Arizona is where I grew up. Tucson, Arizona. Anybody from Tucson? No, Phoenix. (laughs) Great. So, um, (laughs) I was the only Jewish kid in there. They have a place in Arizona called Jew Country Safari. And uh, it's it's like Lion Country Safari. You drive your car through and tailors and accountants attack your car and bang on the... uh, and try and get in the car, you know. And uh, people are going, there's one, Billy Joe. Look at the noses on those suckers. My God, how do they walk? I don't know. know. And Arizona is, uh, I went to high, does any, uh, high school I went to Arizona and uh, in Arizona and I, I I can't talk because I was breastfed by my father, okay? So I have a good reason for this. And uh, does anybody know how come all shop teachers were missing one finger? Does anybody know that? Were they born like that? Shop teachers, they say, Mrs. Johnson, you've given birth to a shop teacher. And there's a baby with a finger missing and keys hanging on its diaper. Who are these people? Who are, there were guys in my high school that could spit like 10 feet and hit a doorknob. I went to, to high school in the late 60s and it was macho. It was, these guys got credit for it, for working that loogie up and they'd hit a doorknob and uh, wait for me to turn it. And... Uh, <laughs> They grow up to be those older guys you see at intersections that open their car doors and go, and close it and take off when the light changes, you know? Who are those guys? You don't even want to drive through it if you're behind them. I'll just go around it. Thanks, anyway. I don't even want that on my tires. Thank you. Take a leak on my windshield while you're at it. Why don't you? Who are those guys? They must practice at home. They go by the refrigerator and go, hey, good one. Stay for dinner? No. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody shoplift from there, kids? <laughs> Was that you? The laugh? What'd you take? Which time? Mm, when you were a little kid, not as it was supposed to last week. What, what was the other time? What'd you take? 
took a fishing rod. <laughs> Did you put it in your pants and walk out? Because no one's going to stop and go, excuse me, is that a fishing rod in your pants? And if they do, you just go, hey, well, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it myself. Thank you. And a couple of reels, too. Yeah. Oh, man, that was just a couple minutes of Gary Shandling live on stage working with the audience. But you could see how funny he was, how clean, how quick he was. Uh, It was a great honor to get a chance to work with him. I know you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, Come back next week, and we'll have another great short-form comedy show here on Comedy Appetizers. And don't forget, this Sunday, our main podcast, Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. Be sure to listen. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Comedy Appetizers. Be sure to share with family and friends, and we will see you this Sunday for our regular podcast, your host and MC, and again next Friday for another episode of Comedy Appetizers. Bye.